Okay, so this is the front suspension. Um, I'm putting it back together. Sorry, let me just zoom out so you can see a lot more of it. So we've got the upper wishbone up here, lower wishbone. I've just done a video about putting a ball joint in. Once I did that ball joint, what I did was I connected the the upright. Let me just turn that around a little bit so you can see. So I connected the upright and tightened that nut in. And that's before putting the hub on because you need access and this part of the hub creates the difficulty for you to get a socket on the top. So I've done that. Then you put the hub on. You don't um, connect it to the, um, to the top ball joint at all. You first put the hub on and you make sure that you align the hub in such a way that the, oh, let me show you, that the um, ABS sensor wire is at the front. All right, between the 12 o'clock and the 8 o'clock position here. You don't want the ABS sensor wire there or there, otherwise it won't reach. So you want it there at the front. Then you can tighten the hub, and the way you do that, life becomes really easy because it's all just attached to one ball joint. You can turn that around, and you get excellent um, access to the nuts, and you can put your socket on there and your um, impact driver, and you can tighten those quite easily. Once they're done, and I do grease all the mating surfaces with either ACF grease or corrosion block. Um, so all, all the mating surfaces, everything inside, it's all greased up. Actually, because I actually grease up all the inside there as well, because that ends up getting rusty and it's, it's not used for anything. Maybe another thing might be a good idea would be just put a tape over it. So anyway, not necessary. Um, and then the next things to do is just put the new hub carrier bolts in here and here. You need to put new ones. People say that's a service item. Apparently they snap and break and be quite catastrophic. So change them regularly. Certainly if you track your car, you want to change, uh, change them regularly. Uh, apparently I think moisture gets in there and um, causes the bolts to become brittle and rust. These are the shims, well it's one of the shims, and this also is the holder for the ABS wire. I think this shim goes in, this one goes in first, like so. Um, and then once you've done that, once you put that shim in, then all the other shims in come in. But I think this one goes first against the, um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's what's connected to the upper ball joint and your steering track rod in goes, goes in there. And then that connects to the to the hub and you've got your two hub carrier bolts that go through there right i hope that's been of some use and oh yes the brake caliper let me just bring that down that obviously connects to the to the hub carrier down there once it goes up it'll have enough reach i can't show you that because my other hand's holding the camera wonderful